Hello and welcome to chapter 50, the last one of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP. Right, we will continue and finish with the positioning topic. In the previous chapter we managed to open a product uh, taking as a basis a dynamically generated URL corresponding to the product's name. Uh, you can see, as uh, we saw in the previous chapter, let's look for another product around here. For example, this one. Well, it's called exactly the same, this heel shoe, for example. You see up here it says heel shoe. It even tells us the price in the title label. Standard shoe, you see. It's always interesting, but well, uh, you see these two items are both called Wellington, so we should change the name of one of them. I will change it here in the management of the database. Um, so that there aren't two items with the same name. Let's see, shoe, well, it's, it's this one here, it's economic heel, right? And now if we go back to the page and update this item, is already economic heel HTML. Fine, the next thing we can do, and we should do, is generating a dynamic sitemap. That is, a map site to send it to Google and the rest of search engines. What does it mean? Um, sitemap is a file, an XML file. It's basically an HTML file, what well, we're doing all the time, but with a different notation, so to say it, it it's different. But basically, w what it's telling Google is, my pet has got these products. Okay, there are lots of people who do this, uh, let's say, by hand, so to say it. They say, well, uh, I will do the sitemap the first day and then forget about it. But then imagine it's a shop that contains products that vary throughout time and well. Today you've got some products, but tomorrow I'll have four products more and two of the previous are no longer available, etc. That's uh, what we call a dynamic sitemap. Then, for example, the first thing we will do to generate that is uh, uploading all this data to our real web, to our shoe shop. We haven't done that yet, okay? So we take the HD axis. <coughs> Remember, it warns us here not to remove this line or else it won't work. Right. I will upload HD access now. I will also upload the functions. Remember, we had added a new function to get the product ID instead of the name, alright? Well, um, you can see as it's a free server like the one some of you may be using, it's terribly slow, but we will go little by little trying to explain it all. If we review a little, 